Coach, it's uh, one all. Your immediate reaction on the match? Yeah, I would say uh, one good thing about the game was result at the end. To be honest, I was more than worried after the first 45 minutes because we couldn't find a way to hold the ball. We couldn't find a player except Suresh, who was the youngest one, to take responsibility and try to pass the ball to do what we were doing on the training pitch, you know. But uh, anyway, Oman used this, uh, this little wind in the first half also, and it was not easy after they put pressure on our back four to kick the ball out and get out of your own half. But I would say that the uh, whole team reacted really well in the second half, that they did their best, they tried everything. Uh, we had some, some good uh, transitions, which I was looking for. And at the end, I need to say I'm happy with this because 10 debutants today, 10 new faces, some of them with uh, lots of minutes on the pitch, some of them with, with only few, but they all did their part in this first point against against Oman in, in three games. No? It's a historic day. You mentioned 10 debutants has never happened in Indian football in an international match. It shows the confidence which you have in the boys. And obviously, these are the start of glory days for Indian football, you believe? Yeah, I, I don't need to repeat that every time, but uh, you could see today what it means when I say that we need more muscle in the team. You know, uh, you could see how strong Roman side is, how good tacklers they are. Besides, they play and pass the ball and move very quick. You know, we have some very quick players in the team, but they couldn't run away from Omani defenders, which which is telling you a lot. So there is a lot of hard work in front of us. We need to build up on our shoulders, whatever it, whatever it takes, uh, uh, bring some muscle on our bodies and keep working really hard. That's the only way. What did you tell to the boys in the locker room in the, during the halftime, coach? I repeated myself because uh, we didn't do two basic things which I was asking them to do. We didn't put pressure on the player uh, with the ball on our half and we stayed too far from their players when they were creating and when they were in build up. And that was creating uh, lots of lots of problems. They were rising up in the confidence, we were very low with the confidence. And I told them, please do me a favor. The result is something I need to I need to care about. Not you. You need to listen to me, you need to come out, play without fear. Go out, express yourself, but do it as a unit because first half we had some individual intents from Manvir, from Ashik which was not what we are looking for. We need to, we need to get out and uh, do transition as a compact group, what we were doing, what we were trying to do and doing a few times in the second half. The last question, Coach. Uh, 29th, we have UAE. So this yeah. result and the renewed vigour in the second half, how much will it help the team, uh, you think? I think that especially second half will show them that there is nothing to fear about. Of course, these are better sides, better sides, because when you when you get into top hundred, uh, difference between uh, a difference of 25 or 30 spots in the ranking means a lot, you know. So there is a still big gap between Arab Emirates side and Oman side, which doesn't mean we we can't get the result. We can get the result. We showed it. Uh, today also, but uh, uh, there will be another game and I need to give chance to the rest of the players who are not uh, appearing today on the pitch. So that's why we are here. Uh, I need to give chance to all the players because uh, in a month time we're going to start all over from scratch. So I need to find out about them, what they can do about sides like this. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. God bless you.